Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Plugin India. All of us at Plugin India own only electric vehicles and create content for the EV community. Thanks to all of you for supporting our channel over the years. In this week's episode of Electric Car Watch, we will talk about Volkswagen's dramatic shift and rapid acceleration towards an electric car future. Volkswagen, as many of you probably know, was known for their diesel gate scandal. They had an anti-EV stance and were supporting hydrogen cars until a few years ago. Now, of course, all that has changed. All research on hydrogen has been stopped and Volkswagen has committed itself to EVs. The person driving this change is CEO Herbert Diaz, who wants electric cars to make up half of the Volkswagen Group sales in 2030 and 100% of its sales in major markets to be zero emission by 2040. To do this, Volkswagen has unveiled its plans for a massive expansion in battery production. They will build six gigafactories in Europe by 2030 with a total production capacity of 240 gigawatt hours per year. That's enough to power almost 4 million Volkswagen ID3 electric vehicles. Earlier this year, Volkswagen announced a new electric car strategy to 2030 called New Auto with a focus on electric cars, ride sharing, autonomy and robo-taxis. Personally, I think Herbert Diaz is an intelligent person. He speaks positively about Tesla even though they are a huge competitor. What I like about him is that he sees a market for all kinds of consumers in which everyone can coexist unlike some CEOs who see the world through only a com competitive lens. He is the right man to transform the company. Mr. Diaz says the e ICE market will decline by 20% by 2030 and the global EV market will be on par with ICE sales. Also, Volkswagen will become more profitable by selling EVs as they are aiming for control of battery raw materials, secondary use and full recycling. Essentially, Volkswagen will be a part of the battery circular economy. What I like about Volkswagen is that they are focusing on vertical integration just like BYD and Tesla right from cell manufacturing to recycling. This will enable them to be more profitable compared to other car makers. I wanted to talk about Volkswagen's one single super EV platform that will be used by the entire Volkswagen group. Currently, Volkswagen uses two platforms for the electric cars, the Modular Electric Drive Matrix or MEB and the Premium Platform Electric or PPE. The ID3 and ID4 electric cars use the MEB platform. The next generation of all electric cars will be developed on a standardized platform. This platform is called the Scalable Systems Platform or SSP. It will consist of various modules like a battery system, autonomous driving and an EV powertrain that, that and will be scalable for vehicles from 85 to 850 kilowatts. Thus, the SSP platform can be used in small city cars as well as in supercars focused on performance. By 2026, Volkswagen Group's electric cars will be based on the SSP platform. But we also feel that electric cars from other OEMs will be able to use this platform and Volkswagen can license it to them. Regarding battery packs, Volkswagen has introduced a unified cell concept. This cell will be a prismatic cell that can contain various chemistries. They can be lithium phosphate cells, NMC cells and high nickel cells. This cell can also adapt to solid state cells whenever those enter production. Volkswagen has invested in a California based startup called Quantum Scape which will develop these solid state cells. The first solid state battery cells will enter production in 2024. Volkswagen expects solid state cells to be available in 2025. The technology will help Volkswagen achieve its goal of recharging a battery of 77 kilowatt hour capacity just as that in today's ID4 to 80% capacity in 12 minutes. These unified cells will be manufactured in 6 gigafactories. To accelerate this process, Volkswagen Group announced a partnership with Goshen High Tech Company Limited, one of the big three Chinese cell and battery manufacturers. It, it is really interesting to note that Volkswagen has decided not to use cylindrical or pouch cells. 
Volkswagen now sees the cells inside the battery pack, not just the pack itself, as a core competency. The main goal is to cut battery costs by as much as half and go below the magic $100 per kilowatt hour mark. I also like that the cell is chemistry agnostic. Thus, we will see inexpensive electric car models based on the lithium-ion iron phosphate design where the high volume cars will use cells with high manganese content. Performance or long range models will have cells with high nickel content. More nickel means higher range and performance. All of this planning and cell manufacturing control will give Volkswagen a huge edge in the coming decade. Another area I want to touch base on is Volkswagen's huge investment in software. Volkswagen has created a dedicated automotive soft software company called Car Dyad, short for Car and Digital. They are developing an automotive software stack and an operating system called Volkswagen OS, which will be installed for all of the group's brands, including Volkswagen, Audi, and Skoda. The Car Dyad software platform 1.1 can be found today in the Volkswagen ID3, ID4, and the Audi Q4 e-tron. They have already created a seamless OTA software update framework. The plan to deliver OTA updates every three months to their customers. In 2023, Car Dyad will be ready with the 1.2 version, which will be based on Android Auto with a third party app store. By 2025, version 2.0 will be ready, which will include Volkswagen OS and will be installed in all Volkswagen Group cars. This will also be autonomous level 4 ready. Now, Software expertise is very important for companies thinking about EVs. No OEM has the software expertise Tesla has and Volkswagen, to their credit, is showing us how to build solid software capability. You need to think in terms of 5 to 10 years. Volkswagen has shown that they are dead serious about offering a real EV experience with software at its core. This seems like a transformation of Volkswagen from an auto OEM into more of a tech company. Alright, you must be wondering what this has got to do with India. Herbert Diaz clearly mentioned that the company's EV plans are majorly for the US, EU and Chinese markets. India may not be a part of these EV plans because Volkswagen will attempt to push ICE vehicles in our market. However, Volkswagen India suits have said that they expect to import limited numbers of ID3 or ID4 electric cars by 2022 or 23 to test the Indian market. Honestly, we believe that Volkswagen India will only get serious about EVs for India after 2026. The Volkswagen Group is a huge group with brands like Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda and Porsche. By 2030, can the Volkswagen Group become one of the world's largest EV manufacturers? Maybe. They have a solid vision to build a foundation on. But once the Gigafactory in Berlin opens up, Volkswagen will face huge competition from Tesla, with Tesla cars becoming 20-30% to 30 cheaper in Europe. Nevertheless, I am very impressed by Volkswagen's vision towards EVs. Their investment in platforms, hardware, software, battery cell supply and vertical integration strategies are amazing. We have not seen a single big eyes automaker show such a comprehensive vision when it comes to phasing out ICE and going all in for electric. There are some lessons here for Indian car manufacturers. I am yet to see an EV vision or master plan from an uh, Indian automaker. Tata Motors comes the closest with their Tata Uni EVverse. But they have provided no details in terms of timelines, cell manufacturing scale, software investments and vertical integration. Tata really needs to up their game instead of launching one retrofit after another if they want to be a serious player in the EV industry globally. I think Volkswagen will be one of the big three electric car makers in the world along with Tesla and BYD in the future. But unlike Tesla and BYD, Volkswagen is transitioning from ICE vehicles to EVs and will remain cautious during the transition. BYD and Tesla, however, are fully focused on EVs and that will give them a major edge. Do write in the comments below about your observations and the research you may have done on Volkswagen's EV strategy. I will see you next week when we talk about our very own Tata Motors. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe and share this video with all your friends and family. Goodbye.